Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Covert narcissist manipulation tactics. The subtle abuse, the subtle recension of compliments. Now, the narcissist will be very, very stingy when it comes to compliments. They'll also very likely be very stingy when it comes to gifts. But they're also very, very chintzy when it comes to showings of emotion, communication, support, acknowledgement. They really want you to almost exist in your own world. They almost want you to exist in an isolated sort of manner when you're in fact in a cohabitation or a relationship or a family with them. Now, this feeling of isolation that occurs is very much, I believe, what they feel inside and it's what they're bottling up that causes this and in essence, they feel that that is their power by subduing the target in their environment. So that is kind of a, a very undermining way and very much under the radar where one does not perceive this is happening but really ends in quite in a, a feeling of uh, loss and being lost. And it's very important to um, release this feeling so that you don't feel like uh, there's e extreme amount of resentment and desire for more from them other than which they're going to give you because if you continue to harbor those feelings it's going to constantly be driving you in the wrong direction in your life and you're going to be missing opportunity for you to pursue your own happiness and connection with something greater. So the covert abuse in terms of these different tactics need to be dismantled and they're dismantled by you. You're the only one who can release them and let them go. And if they're very uh, sort of stingy with you, then definitely bring it upon yourself to lavish yourself with that which you need. Do not feel guilty. Do not feel an obligation. Do not feel sort of guilt if, that it should be coming from them because there's nothing you can do to change them. There's, they're only going to get worse and worse. You, you can't educate them on how to treat you. If you're caught up in that cycle of ha having to educate them on how to better treat you, these are things that they should know and they should be bringing to you in the relationship. If they're not able to bring this to the relationship, then it's up to you to provide these qualities and these experiences for yourself. So getting yourself flowers, getting yourself jewelry, the perfume, the weekend trip, something of that nature. And if you can't afford it, find ways to get a job and get your own money so that you can afford it. And don't be afraid to go alone or don't be afraid to go with your friends if, if your spouse, if your covert narcissist is not able to give that to you. Or likewise, if this sort of uh, feeling where it's difficult for you to receive, um, if you've been entrenched in a covert narcissist relationship for so long, it's so difficult for you to let loose and cut loose and provide these things for yourself and to really live, then you're going to need to make steps, baby steps in that direction so you can begin to let yourself out of the short, tight leash that they've had you on. And do not feel gu guilty. Give yourself permission to the uh, give yourself and receive those indulgences. Little by little, whatever those indulgences are for you, make it part of your day, make a part of your goal to give yourself at least one of these every single day. Do it. Give yourself permission. Release the guilt. Enjoy the treasures that are your life. Do not be limited by those who intend to control and manipulate you by limitation. Break through that limitation little by little until it's broken wide open and you're enjoying life the way it was meant to be. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos help. Please share, please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussions, and support.